we can see this is the computer mill spoiler piece. A little cut out there for the, the control the servo horn, sorry the control horn. The bottom of it I've milled dead flat and the top surface actually curves with the curvature of the wing. But it's not much, there's that curvature there, the paper will be able to handle I'd say. So I've just traced it twice into this sheet of paper. This you can see the trace in the dotted lines, and then the outside lines here I've drawn as a, the, the wrap surface. So cut it out and then cut a whole lot of slits in this wrap surface. It'll wrap around from the top, wrapping around the top like this, kind of like your hand wrapping around the top like this, kind of like your hand grabbing it. And then we'll flip it over and we'll glue this back plate on it. So I trace the back plate from this shape and then just dotted out a or dashed out a say a two millimeter offset line on the inside of the shape so that we don't have any dags overhanging the edge. You'll notice with this the base plate that I did the similar job on is that uh, the even though the milling machine cut a perfectly smooth curve when we wrap it, we actually get these little kinks in it, and that's just the nature of how many slits you want to put. You can, I've done it probably the wrong way around on the base plate, so I put the covering sheet inside and the fingers wrapped from the outside. You can see the width I've made there on each wrap, and that creates those little kinks that you can see all the way along. You could sand them out, but then you're sanding out the strength. So really, with intolerances, it's it's more than substantial. And you've got to remember that these, this plate's going in below the surface of the airflow, so that it won't affect the airflow. What's important is this face surface. And then we're just going to be using tape to hold it all down. Obviously, if you made a bigger plane, you'd start making little sections with screw-in countersunk screws or or hex heads or something like that but the wing already takes a fair amount of time to assemble as it is and that's that's getting into a much larger project I glued the laminate straight over the bottom plate hole where all the control gear is and now I've the actual bottom plate on and trace around with it trace around it with a pencil so I've got some sort of line to follow and that should all fit in there just fine and that fits pretty accurately in there so the tape that holds it in will continue the strength of the laminate across the top because it has laminate itself to make up for the fact there's nothing here, while well, the servo is glued into place, and that makes it part of the body structure. So there's a, a chassis ridge through there, and the cuts here for the ballast aren't that deep. Overall, it'll be fairly structurally strong.